basically, um, I guess Zion had been playing, like play fighting with a friend of his and then like a friend from school and then the friend accidentally struck this man and then that's actually how everything started because I guess the man asked like did you see that and then either Zion or his friend said no and so he ended up like grabbing Zion and taking him between the trans. There was a big slam and I turned and just saw that there were um, two people on the platform but I couldn't tell like if I could just tell that one was bigger than the other one and the slam was that the bigger one was uh, had like picked up the smaller person and slammed them against the back of the door. So when I turned because I heard the slam, all I saw was uh, two people. You know, everything was really moving very quickly, you know, so I, I feel like I didn't really have time to think about what I was thinking about, I don't know. Um, but yeah, basically, I, after the, the guy slammed the what ended up being a child, um, but I didn't know at the time, against the door, uh, he turned very quickly. So at that moment, I thought that he had actually thrown him off the train, and that was, like, that's what stressed me out the most. And um, yeah, for that reason, I just stood up and tried to figure out what was going on. But at the moment when I saw him turn very quickly, and that's when I thought that he'd thrown the victim, um, I just stood up so I could see more clearly, and um, I saw that he actually hadn't thrown him, he was just shaking him over the guardrail. So, um, yeah, I honestly, I tried to get everyone's attention at first, uh, but it didn't work. No one would really look in my direction or anything. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I couldn't, I think in opening the door, I wasn't really reflecting on like all the possibilities of what could have happened because there just was no time. Like I, all I could tell myself was that like, I didn't want to wait for him to actually throw the kid since I had already, already kind of like felt that feeling of shock, like as, he, as if he had thrown the person. So. I just want to give him a way out, so I just opened the door, and um, I, well, I waited though because I, I saw the guy turn and go to the other side of the train, and, like shake the victim again over that side, and then as he turned around again, when the victim was in between the man and and, and the door, that's when I opened it because I knew I could grab him, so I opened it and then just pulled him basically. But, Closed the door and I had him sit down in the seat that I was sitting in and asked him some questions to try and like uh, make sure he was okay and um, the, yeah the craziest thing was that he after being shaken around like that he still actually had his cell phone in his hand um, which I was like it's amazing I don't know I mean because imagine how painful that would be for someone to like pick you up by your arms like that and just like shake you around um, so yeah I just asked him his name and his age and I honestly you know, wasn't thinking particularly clearly, so I don't know why my first thought wasn't to call the police, but it wasn't, it was to find out where his parents were and how far he was going on the train, and you know, um, obviously, so he told me he was going to Utica Avenue, and I used to live in that area of Brooklyn, so I know it's at the very end of the line, very far away, and um, I was like, should I go with him all the way there and like accompany him home, I can't leave him by himself, and then I was like, well no, because if this guy decides to follow us, you know, I'm I can't do anything about it really, like I, like I can't fight someone, you know? Um, so we actually called his mom, lost reception, which was awful, I felt so bad about that. Um, but, at least, but at least I kind of planted the seed so she would kind of know something was up. And then at the stop after that, we actually uh, it finally dawned on me to go to the police. Uh, yeah, once I left the police station, I was like, what just happened? Like, I was crying. I was like, I don't even know what, what you know, it's so out of place for a regular week, so. I thought a lot more about it now, obviously. But honestly, in opening the door, I just, all I knew, like, in evaluating a situation like that was that, like, he needed a way out, and that was the only way for him to get out was me opening the door. Because obviously, like, he was being shaken around. He didn't have any power over the situation. Um, and on, looking back on it now, all I can say is that I, I just really wish that someone that had been in the car with them beforehand, you know, because I didn't see anything that happened before them going between the cars because they were in the car after me. I don't understand why no one in that car did anything so that he would, you know, he would have avoided this horrible experience, you know, he's never going to forget this. So, um, yeah, I just really wish somebody would have done something before, before I was even in the picture, so.